Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. New security features coming for the American Eagle Bullion Program? You betcha. Let's find out. That's right. This came to us from Chris Garner who sent me a, a link to this interview, an exclusive from a coinweek.com. The editor there interviewed the Mint director, David Ryder, who has been uh, certainly making some headway to the progress of coin collecting and, uh, and security features. And security is, uh, in terms of metal and coin design, is something that he has experienced with in the private sector. So I think this is quite a uh, quite an exciting uh, thing to be able to bet on in terms of the American gold and presumably the American silver eagles. Coin Week editor Charles Morgan caught up with U.S. Mint director David Ryder at the American Numismatic Association World's Fair of Money to discuss the wildly successful 2019 W Coin program and how the Mint plans to continue to use freemium products in uh, 2020 to grow its customer base. And I think that is exciting to to put coins in circulation to get collectors and to uh, for, uh, attract a younger audience and, and also just new folks getting interested in coin collecting. But this is really, I think, where it gets key. They also discuss changes that are coming to the American Eagle Bullion coin program, including design changes and anti-counterfeiting measures that the United States Mint is planning to implement in the near future. What that near future means is anyone's guess. Uh, but a whole staff has been hired at the Philadelphia Mint to work on this problem, work on this uh, situation. And uh, again, and as a note here, Charles asks about the long-term future of coins and how he has never sensed any urgency coming from the Mint in regards to the shrinking purchasing power of our circulating coins. To, so this is an, an interview, and I'll post a link to this article uh, in, in the description below. But uh, I will say that uh, it is quite interesting. There will be a visible design change. Um, and uh, now, as to the actual look of the coins themselves, um, my guess is it will probably remain, as you see here, uh, the obverse and reverse of the American Silver Eagle and the... Uh, gold eagle here, but my guess is there'll be something probably uh, like some sort of a, a privy mark or something, kind of like what we saw in the maple leaves, perhaps that you can see with your naked eye that is uh, intricate enough that gives you the assurance that you have the real deal. And it's something that he says you can see with a loop. So if you take a loop and look at these coins, you'll be able to see probably more in intricate detail. Perhaps it might be something down here at the at the shield, um, or maybe something on both sides where they may put something within the serif of of a um, of a particular letter. You know that's something that we've seen the uh, the Perth men do some of their products, and you know these anti counterfeiting measures I think are are very interesting and fascinating to see and muchly needed, especially with Chinese counterfeits out there that are really so good, and. Uh, so, but my guess is that the actual design itself will remain the same, and it will really be barely noticeable to the general public. That's the first level of security called the overt level of security. In other words, you can see it uh, with your naked eye, and you can see it in, even closer with a loop. The next level of security is something that uh, can be recognized within the bullion, the greater overall bullion market. So in other words, coin dealers, bullion dealers will have another level of security. And my guess is that's the same type of thing that you see with the uh, Royal Canadian Mint and their gold eagle or their gold maple leaf program. Each one of those has its own uh, DNA signature, coin DNA, or what I think is what it's called, and where you can scan the coin or, or uh, use an app and potentially uh, take a picture and scan the coin, and it will be able to tell based off of the markings of a die. I assume that probably each die will have some sort of uh, signature, some sort of um, 
that's very un that's undetectable probably with the naked eye between die strikes of these and uh, each one will be able to be verified as being genuine based off of those dies. I think that's how the Royal Canadian Mint program works. So that's the uh, the second level. Uh, and then there is the covert level. And the covert level of security for the American Eagle bullion program is something for law enforcement, things like the Secret Service, because make no mistake, the American Eagle bullion program is monetized, their coins, which means that if they're counterfeited, that becomes a very dangerous and um, serious offense, felonious offense there. And so if these things, uh, there's another level of security, a forensic level of security that is involved with these uh, coins that I think um, that only they will be able to tell uh, what that is. And uh, so it's something that's, and I think that's quite fascinating. It may be something electromagnetic or some sort of, signature maybe even a slight change to the to the alloy because you think about the american eagle gold program you know it has an alloy uh uh you know it's, it's different than the other than well than other pure obviously so there's room to work within that uh state uh possibly um to where they can be able to provide uh, a level of security that only they can detect can you imagine if they found a way to make planchets with one section of the planchet perhaps um, uh, made as such to where it is a, another uh, mixture of alloy in just that one section of the planchet? There's all kinds of different things they can probably do in terms of that regard. Now, they may be quite expensive to be able to do. I'm not sure how that would work, uh, but it's just an idea. But uh, nonetheless... That will be very secretive. No one will know what those are, only the feds in that regard. And uh, and so that is, uh, that's why it's on a forensic level. But my guess is, is for the second level, uh, within the, uh, the, the dealers and the community of uh, precious metals exchanges, that that is going to be one of the major things is some sort of app that will be able to detect um, something, probably a die uh, variation between the dies, very slight to where that will be able to be um, told that will really help prohibit counterfeiting because, you know, depending on how good the counterfeiters are, the overt security feature, whether it be micro engraving or micro printing, uh, more than likely, especially how targeted these coins are, it's going to be a little bit more difficult for them to. Uh, be able to reproduce that, but they will probably make an effort, and more than likely they could succeed in the coming years. We'll find out. Now, going back to my theory that perhaps the forensic aspect of it may be a variation of uh, metallic alloy, that will be hard. That will be a, probably impossible to do for the Silver Eagle. So my guess is that they'd have to find some other way uh, to be able to do that. But I don't even know if that's really possible with the Gold Eagle or practical um, to be able to provide you know, a, an area on the, on the planchet itself that no one knows about but the Secret Service or the feds to where that particular part of the, of the uh, planchet will have a slightly different alloy structure or signature. And I don't know how you would do that on, on a pure silver coin. By the way, the American Silver Eagle is comprised of 0.9993 fine silver. And perhaps you can play with the numbers uh, on that thousands, you know, we'll see. Um, and uh, and so we'll see. The, the American Gold Eagle is 22 carat, 0.9167, I believe, fine. And uh, so those, you can play with the alloy a little bit there. And who knows what you can do with the Silver Eagle to be, to be able to find detection there. But very interesting indeed. What are your thoughts? Do you have any ideas um, where you would like to see security features for the American Eagle? bullion program both silver and gold you know we're way behind and my guess is whatever uh, uh david uh, Ryder comes up with uh and the staff there that he's hired specifically for this probably won't be any better than other men that, that have been doing for several years now uh but you never know for once i'd like to see our mint 
um, get up and surpass the technologies of other mints. But I think we're quite a ways away from those times. Post your thoughts below. Be curious to see what you think about this. We'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to Chris Garner for sending this along to me. Somebody else alerted it to me as well, but I forget who. And I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to y'all for watching and encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>